Like, for one, these keep showing up as anonymous. I don't know why. Um, it's showing that my latest follower is 5J, but that's not true. Yeah, I really need to get out of here. Yeah, I just, I need to leave. I need to leave. Free me from these bonds. These chains. <sighs> All right. So. Yes, I know. We are going to go to X Split. We're going to go to X Split. All right, so for one, I need to cancel this so I can move that out of the way. I am going to move these windows out of the way, move Discord out of the way. I want to see nothing. Oh, this is actually kind of awesome. I'm glad this is showing up now. This was totally not planned. But here it is. It's my desktop, and I got the Linux penguins up. Actually, I probably did need that window. Because um, we're going IRL. IRL. So, yes, it is time to get into the nitty gritty. We are actually going to attempt live on air to install Tekken 7 on a Lin on a Linux virtual machine because I've got nothing else better to do it's something I really want to do and if I don't do it on stream it it's going to push everything back so I want to do this on stream you can see all the pretty little icons I have cuz well it sounds better like well I mean there's no other sounds other than music that's playing in the background All right, so what I'm going to, your audio was wonky. Oh, uh, well, okay. So now I'm going to say, why are you using Bluetooth, man? It's, it's wired or nothing. Like I could have got the wireless version of these headphones. Like, nah, I need wired. I need to be wired for sound. Um, all right. So let's see. You can see I attempted to try this already. I'm going to just go ahead and launch this VM. It's not going to work. Um, for one, I do not have all the storage that I need. So I'm going to have to recreate this VM. Luckily, I have the ISOs to create the VM that I want. Um, got you. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what cleaning is. My wife would kill me if I said that. It's like... <sighs> Damn, I really wish I had a model work. So yeah, uh, for those who don't know, I am a very big proponent of Linux. I love using Linux. I that is actually how I've earned a mass my mass wealth. My daughter is coming home. Okay. Um, yeah, Linux is where I've amassed my wealth. 
which is weird because this shit's available for free. So how do I make money off of it? Um, I am a Linux sysadmin by trade. I have worked in support for um, Red Hat based here in um, Raleigh, North Carolina. Was in Durham, but they moved to Raleigh. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Damn. Um, I've worked for the University of North Carolina. So I was at Red Hat as a service desk technician and GSS technical support. Um, for, damn, what was it? System management. I thought about that today. I was talking to a old co-worker, now current co-worker, about my path through Red Hat. Um... So I left there, went to the University of North Carolina to be a sysadmin for the Gilling School of Public Health. And now I work for Pivotal Software as a senior cloud in, uh, sing, uh, senior customer engineer supporting their uh, platform as a service, which runs off of Ubuntu. So you'll be in my area in about a month. So if you want to hang out, let you know. Cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, definitely. Just let me know. I'll, I'll be around doing some things. Maybe nothing. I don't do nothing. I just sit here in front of this computer and just stream. Maybe cry a little bit. Um. So the thing with this here, so the thing with um, Fedora here, um, they do not have. And I'll get into this a little. I'll get into this a little bit later because I have to go somewhere else to get the Steam client for Fedora. Um, Steam on Linux is purely a Debian thing. Like they created it for Debian or technically. No, they created it for Debian, but Ubuntu, which is based off of Debian Linux, um, it works for them too. For Fedora or any other Linux distribution that uses a different package manager, you have to go somewhere special to get it. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit later, but um, I did want to show that. Actually, I was like one of the first people to get Steam running in Fedora. Um, Shouts out again to like the Red Hat developers who pioneered it. But um, when they uh, when they initially launched Steam for Linux, we had some guys at Red Hat ported over to Fedora. You don't do much, neither do I. I like to think that I do a lot, but I don't. Um, so there are plenty of games here that are available for SteamOS and Linux. Um, I'm actually running a beta of the Steam client for Linux, which allows me to see the built-in wine stuff that they put in there um before on like the standard client games like tekken 7 don't show up and again i'm gonna go through a lot of this before i know i'm jumping the gun to show kind of what i have now um but yeah like you see you got tekken 7 here uh but unfortunately and this is why i'm gonna start this over i gotta resize the hard drive i do not have enough space available in my home partition or even in my um, root partition to do this. So I'm going to run a little command here so I can show my disk utilization. Um, and as you can see in my home directory, I've got like 38 gigs available. I'm not using much of it, but it's still not big enough for a 70 gig game. Um, neither in my home or even in my root. Now I could change the stuff around, reformat it, take space away from one place and put it in another, but I really don't want to do that. What I really want to make sure I do have is enough just out of the gate. So what I'm going to actually going to do here is I'm going to shut this down. And I'm hoping that I'm probably going to have to relook up the command that I need. I thought it shut down. Apparently, I didn't. Uh, or maybe I did, and it's just being an ass. Give me a second. Um, I'm sure if you've seen this question, it's in the streaming one one or click out. (laughs) 
Where do you be? What's happening? Ask a, you, you ask a question, don't respond. I'm going to respond. I'm responding right now. Granted, I'm streaming right now. <laughs> I just happened to notice. Hey, somebody asked me a question. I'm going to respond. That's what I do. All right, so I'm going to remove every all those files there. Um, oh, okay. Not me. I was going to say, I want to answer the question. That's what I do. Um, all right. So actually, I forgot. What I was going to do was not to resize that VM or resize the um, storage of that VM. I was actually just going to create one from scratch because essentially what I want to do is show people how to create a virtual machine. Um, for one, you're going to need Oracle VM VirtualBox. Um, it is free. It costs you nothing to download it, which is amazing. Um, and of course, you can get Windows. Look, I'm going to teach you something too. I'm going to tell you something too. It's a little hack here. Um, now, you can go and, you know, sorry, my ears itch, so I'm going to scratch both of them on air because uh, it was bothered, bo just bugging the shit out of me. Um, you can go, you can buy a copy of Windows or. Go download, and this is what I've done when I need Windows real quick. Go download the Insider Preview of Windows 10. They give it to you for free. You can actually, write, I think you can register your account to it and probably get it activated. Um, I'm not sure. Normally, I've been using it for honeypots to try to catch scammers. Oh, there you go. Yes, you can. Um, but yeah, like. It's a free version of Windows. You can go get, download, like you're testing them. So are you testing it? So I guess like, hey, we're paying you with some Windows. Here you go. Um, all right. So I'm going to call this major. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm going to call this. Let's call it major fedora. That way I can get the fedora thing up there. And I'm going to throw about as much rant. Well, actually, no. I'm going to throw 8 gigs of RAM at it. I don't want to overload it while I am also streaming. Um, I thought I deleted that. Apparently, I did not. It is still there. Uh, what I am going to do is there. I'm going to delete it. There. It doesn't exist. Where is your disk now? All right. And I am going to give it 300 gigabytes just so I can make sure I have enough space to do that. Um, all right. Now I'm going to go into settings here because like I can start. So, all right, you know what? Let's do it. So I've created the virtual machine. So I'm going to start it. But just like if you were, all right, well, actually, no, it stops right here. What I thought it was going to do was just like anybody would like, all right, like I built my computer, I put the hard drives in, everything's connected, everything posted. But then it puts you on like, hey, there's no operating system I found. Actually, what happens if I hit cancel? So it's gonna boot. VirtualBox caught it that there was no OS installed. So it's telling me there's no boot, there's no bootable medium found, system halted. Um, you'll get similar messages on a real computer. Um, so I'll do, so I'm gonna turn it off. See if I restart it and see if it gives me the same error. Or nope. It's actually gonna go through now. So yeah, I fucked that up. But you can easily remedy this by going into settings and clicking storage. And what you want to do is you want to actually add a CD image in here. Uh, now again for Fedora, you can go to let's see here. Oh, that's why I went over there. Alright. You can go to getfedora.org and you can actually get, you know, various things. You got your atomic, your server, workstation. So I actually downloaded a uh, workstation instance. Um, so it gives you a little bit more information. Click download now. Now, for um, for these types of installations, for your virtual machines, you they usually have you download an ISO here. But... Because a lot of people are downloading um, Fedora images to Windows machines and they need some way to write it because, you know, most computers don't have CD-ROMs anymore. They have you download this Meteor Writer, which saves it to a flash drive for you. Uh, what you want to do for images, though, is you want to come over here and download like a live image. So like 64-bit, 32-bit. 
Um, I've actually gone a step further. I went ahead, went to Spins, and found my flavor of my flavor of Linux, which is Mate Comp is, which for old heads, for old Linux heads, you know that is GNOME 2. Um, GNOME 3 for me is very resource intensive. I don't like it. Uh, but also there are other places you can go to get Linux. Like the favorite one is Ubuntu. The leading operating system for PCs, IoT devices, servers in the cloud, which is not that far off. Um, and here you can get various versions of Ubuntu Linux. Um, but if you really want to know what's out there, if you really want to know what's out there, you go to distrowatch.com. It has every distribution of Unix or Linux that you'd ever want. This is. This right here is the top 100 rankings of like Linux on this page. So apparently, my Manjaro is the top one. Oh, which actually is put is actually like Ubuntu. You lied. You said you were the top. You're actually falling down to Manjaro and Mint. Yeah, Mint's a big one too. Um, I think I've heard Elementary coming up. There's Debian, which Ubuntu is based off of. Here's Fedora, number eight. So we're still in the top ten. CentOS, which is based off of Fedora. Um, it looks like they have different flavors, so like the Ubuntu Mate, um, Ubuntu Kylan. Um, like you're not going to see RHEL or Oracle Linux on here, which RHEL is the product I used to work on at um, Red Hat, and Oracle is its third cousin, which was which they copied. Actually, I think CentOS is a spin of Rel and not Fedora. But all right, so once you get everything downloaded, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose this little disk. So as you can see, I've got a couple of things here. Again, you know, you see the Windows 10 Insider Preview. I've done it before. Uh, I was using Gparted for some partitioning and as Fedora Workstation. That's what I was using before, but I'm actually going to use my Mate one that I downloaded last night. It's a live CD, so I check that, click OK, and now I hit start. Um, the beautiful thing about VirtualBox um, is that it will boot from your image first. It will not boot from the hard drive. So you don't have to worry about trying to catch the BIOS. It will just do that automatically. It's set up to do that automatically. So, all right, here we are. We are loading into this uh, Fedora Live image. I'm going to hit this full screen. So, I'm going to log in again because it's a live image. I don't have to put any credentials. It's just like, all right, this is it. Um, live images, when I started working on Fedora, was not even a thing. It was something that people attempted to do as a hack at one point until people came out. I mean, until um, like Linux issues came out with actual live dim, um, live images with persistent storage. So technically I could put this ISO or that's what that media writer was for. I can put the image on a flash drive, take the flash drive with me, plug it into a computer, boot the computer up from the flash drive and then use that image. Like that could be my computer, my operating system. Everything's installed, it has persistent storage. That way, you know, I don't have to worry about leaving any traces of me behind on the computer that I use. If I don't trust a public computer, as long as they allow me to reboot it and boot to the USB, then I can, like I have my own personal computer. I've got every, all my settings, everything is right here on the flash drive. And then, you know, I don't leave anything on the actual hard drive of the machine. Okay, there we go. So I selected that disk. Click done. There should be a new disk. I shouldn't have to reformat it or anything. Yep, there we go. So saving the storage configuration.
All right, everything is done. I don't have to choose anything. What it's going to do. So before, like, well, Linux installations used to be a little bit more involved in this. Um, and I'm pretty sure there are images where, like, all right, it's just an installation media. Um, what the live images do is they essentially copy this environment that I'm currently in, that I'm technically running off of this flash drive, onto the hard drive. That way, like, everything I have is ready to go. I can just begin installation. Now, here it is. I get to set up boot password. So I'm going to... Oops, I think I mistyped that. I am constantly mistyping this password because I'm typing too fast. All right, strong root password. And now we're gonna create my user. Of course, I'm gonna come over and, you know, I gotta do it. Now I'm gonna be the admin. Get that strong password. All right, and now the accounts are created. And while I was creating the accounts, everything's being installed on the bottom. Um, one thing that they asked when they, one thing they added, especially when they made this new GUI, I can't remember when this was introduced, they started adding advertisements and stuff with it. But luckily it's not like advertisements for other things, like, hey, here are things you can use like music, which is weird, it's actually kind of cool. Hey, I remember Beefy Miracle from Fedora 18. Um, but yeah, just little things that say, hey, this is things you can do within Linux, or hey, you can help us out, join the movement. You can really use people to join the movement. You know, here are the desktop 2018. I'm gonna have to wait for the ice to melt. Um, actually, while I do this, somebody else said they wanted to pop in. We'll stick with Mac OS actually setting up my Mac Pro to my TV now. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's always gonna be like to each their own. I mean, I like Linux. Uh, I mean, I like everything. I run shit on fucking Mac if I um if I actually had a good one that wasn't my work one like I'm not sure how they would feel if I installed Steam on my work machine I mean granted like it's one of those new 2017's got the Radeon Pro um, graphics card in there like, I really, really, really want to test it. But, of course, my personal one is the 13-inch. Like, not really low bottom of the line, but, again, it's 2015. It doesn't really do much. Like, it can play Portal okay. And Dota, maybe. Yeah, I definitely got the money for like the top of the line max. I really wish I did. Like, actually, I wonder if um, those external graphics card enclosures work on my Mac. I'd, I'd, I'd like to find that out. I wonder if it does work. Well, I mean, then I'd actually have to walk around with an external graphics card attached to my MacBook, which that's not fun. I'm just gonna walk around with this 1080 in this enclosure for somebody to steal that shit. Using a CD or a DVD to install Fedora? Sure, with a friend when you're done. Exactly. See, that's what I love. I think that was the main thing I loved about Linux when I got into it. I was um, using Ubuntu. Um, I just I forgot how I discovered Ubuntu, but I learned that they that you could order CDs of an operating system for free. 
And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, that, you can't do that. Who's doing this? But lo and behold, they would send me envelopes and then boxes of Ubuntu discs. And I would give that shit out. Like, I felt like I was cool as shit. Like, they tried to liberate yourself from Windows. It's more where this came from. You start throwing them everywhere. Nobody cared. Nobody cared at all. Actually, like, those discs were live images. So, live images were a thing back, both, I think, probably before I was in college. It's just that nobody was putting them on flash drives and then there was still no persistent storage. I mean, ultimately I got close before the live image thing came to be a thing where I was um, putting full versions of Linux on an external hard drive and sort of kind of got it to work. Wowza! Gnome desktop. Wait. Oh, you mean mine? Yeah, I use Gnome 2. I love Gnome 2. That that's that's what I grew up on. That's where I'll stay. But uh, since Gnome 2 is no longer with us, um they call it mate. All right. So it seems like the kernel panic. I think we're done here. All right. So now that we're done, one thing you have to do after you install it, you have to remember to remove the, um, disc or else it'll just reboot right to that, um, disc and it doesn't automatically remove it. Um, so you gotta go in there, remember to remove it and you can restart it. And now we're actually booting to the hard drive, gave me the options. Um, uh, you're like, we're going to go ahead and update it too. So you're going to see more in there. I'm going to reboot it and you're going to see more stuff in there. Um, but yeah, gnome three, it was, it's a very, very intensive thing or it got to be really intense and it's just like it sucked yes i am going to attempt to install tekken 7 tonight hopefully i should have enough storage space to do it um all right so for me i'm going to install a couple of things here hopefully it should not take too long i'm gonna remove these I don't know. I, don't that. I just want to remove, remove. All right. So for one, I'm going to install Terminator, which is my favorite terminal emulator for Fedora. Uh, of course, if you do not know, sudo is a super user doer. Um, it allows you to run admin commands as your regular self. Bye, Futeki. Thank you for that host. You were the host with the most. All right, so apparently there seems to be a yum process that's running, so I am going to go kill it. Of course, I probably should have grip. So there's nothing running. Why is it, what process is it waiting for? All right, actually, let's just let's just grip on the pit. Of course, my numlock isn't working. Ah, that's what DNF was actually running. Because now that pit isn't running anymore. I ain't gonna kill all of it. I, I need some stuff working. Alright, so... Yeah, for me, Terminator is my favorite terminal terminal emulator. Because I can kind of set multiple... I can have multiple... Um... Got things running at the same time. So, so I can get that going, get that going, get that going, get that going. Yeah. See, that's what I like about it. But I don't need that right now. At least not right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do 
is I am going to do a yum update so I can get all my packages. Um, yum is yellow, um, yellow dog update manager. Um, it's actually slowly going into deprecation on Fedora and replacement for DNF, which I do not know what DNF stands for and do not care. Granted, it's the same set of commands. Um, so yeah, what this is doing is it's going to go ahead and update my system. In the meantime, I actually am going to go back and open up Firefox because I want to grab a couple of things for me. I could just use Firefox on my browser, but I actually like to use Google Chrome. So I'm gonna go get some Google Chrome. Granted, uh, I probably won't be able to install it right now, which is fine. Um, it's gonna show probably one limitation, one of many limitations of Fedora. Um, Now, it actually might let me install the RPM without having to use Yum. Maybe. No, it actually just tried to uncompress it. Fun! Hopefully, it saved it in the downloads. I did not realize that's what it was going to do. Nope, so it did not save it there. Can I re-download it? Thank you. I'm gonna need it again. Yeah, just open in the folder. It actually probably saved it somewhere else. Oh, no, it's right there. Let's open it up in a package manager. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go check on my updates, that may take a while, so. All right, let's go ahead and put in a password. Like, I'm hoping this will actually run through DNF. Or. Not DNF, but like RPM. So that way I can kind of bypass using yum. Um. I would like to see what you're doing. Did you install it? Because. No, no, you didn't. What the hell are you doing? All right, it actually might be tied up because of that. So let's see here. I am. That's not what I wanted. All right, this way. So I'm gonna go into the downloads folder, your RPM I. So that's I'm gonna install this RPM. Oh, of course. So yeah, like installing Google Chrome is not gonna happen right now. Um so let's see here. While we wait for that, I guess I'm gonna have to use Firefox right now. I actually want to install Steam for Linux. So let's go look up how to do that. Or better yet, let's actually do this. Let's go to Steam. So as you see, I can load up Steam, store.steampower.com, and just waiting for everything to load up. And I'm gonna click install Steam. Now, just like with every other thing where it's a multi-platform release, it will detect the operating system that you are using. As you can see down here, it says also available on Windows and Mac. So it knows that we're not on either one of those things. I wish it would tell you, but again, it. I guess one, if you're using Linux, you should know that you're using Linux. Um, so as you can see here, it gives me a Debian package. Uh, so steam underscore latest dot DEB is a Debian package. Now I could download this and install it 
if I was running Ubuntu. Technically, I could have installed it, ran Ubuntu, and, you know, hey, I would have had, you know, I guess the release that works. If I actually wanted to reach out to Steam, a Valve support and say, yo, Steam is not working on Linux, I could tell them, hey, I'm on Ubuntu, and they may be able to help me. Uh, but that's not the case here. I am not on Ubuntu. I am on Fedora, so I need to go find a way to install this on Fedora. And I think, oh, yep, I went too far back. All right. So I'm going to go here. It says fedoramagazine.org, third-party repositories for Fedora. What's going on, Ray Vier? How you doing? How you living? How you feeling? Welcome to the stream. All right, so from here I can get, so this is how I access my third-party repositories where I can install Chrome. I can install a Python IDE if I so choose. I can get the NVIDIA graphics drivers, which may or may not do, it's not gonna do me any good here in a virtual machine. I don't have access to NVIDIA's APIs. So like if I was running, if I actually decided to run Fedora natively, like on my bare metal, this will definitely come in handy. I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad you're doing good. Welcome to the stream. It's your boy Mark Summers Major Linux Majorsouse.com. And we're installing Fedora. Um well we are installing, we're updating Fedora now. Uh, but we are trying to install. Oh boy. That's not a good that's not a good message. Hey Riviera, thank you for that follow. Um, yeah, right now we're updating Fedora 28. Um, we are planning to install Google Chrome and not just Google Chrome, but um, Steam as well. Yo, dreams forgotten. Welcome. He's on his Linux box. All right, so. Yeah, so this is how I can get access to my repositories. But again, I have to wait until all this is done. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, part of me wishes that I actually did do some prep beforehand. But you know what? I like doing it live. It gives me some time to be able to talk, chat, you know, catch up with people. Um, but yeah. Like, I'm excited. I get to install Linux live on Steve, which is really awesome. It's something I really wanted to do um, and kind of talk people through it. Like, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I can try to answer them to the best of my ability. Again, this is how I make the big bucks. This is actually my livelihood. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm excited. I am really excited about this. Um, and again, this is all kind of spurred by the fact that, again, Linux, I'm mean not Linux, but um, Valve updated their um, Steam beta client to build in the um, Wine emulator. So now more Windows games can be played on Linux. Like, we're really close to getting um, day and day releases for video games on Linux. Um, granted, oh shit, um, Prepubescence is coming out. Um, <clears throat> granted, one of my coworkers' wives, who still works for Red Hat, um, we both used to work for Red Hat, but um, his wife currently does. Um, she's actually going back to GDC next year to talk to some of these AAA developers and try to actually get native Linux support for these AAA games. Um, instead of like waiting a few months to get it to roll out on Linux, or like you know, I mean, we got indie titles that do that. Right now, we're trying to get um, actual big titles to do that. I mean, I feel like id like any like if but if anybody could do it, it'd be id because they release that content. They actually write shit in Vulcan. I feel like, yeah, like honestly, if any developer would actually release a game day and date on Linux and it'd be a triple A title, it'd be id. Um. 
I mean, those those guys have been around for a while, and like I, I imagine, like those are some fucking like nerds and geeks in there for real. Like you can look at any like game company. Oh yeah, you got this coders, but like I feel like id would be like the the people who would do that. Um, like come on, like you got Quake, Doom. Um, shit. What else I got? <laughs> um, like I'm thinking the old school shit. But um, I mean, fuck. Like they make Rage. Like Rage Two's coming out. It, how dope would it be if Rage Two launched on Linux day and date? I mean, Doom eventually is going to appear on Linux. If it hasn't already, actually, yeah. Let's let's look this up. Let's. While we're waiting, let's actually see what is available. Uh oh, something happened. Problem has occurred. Oh my! Um, Firefox quit. So let's um. Okay, so apparently just Steam is not wanting to load at all. Yeah, it keeps crashing. So. Hmm. Excuse me. I just unmuted myself up here. Uh, try this again. Let's open up Firefox again. Might have been just. They might have updated for um, Firefox and I didn't. Hey, the Carolina Panthers win 25 to 14. Hooray. If it's using wine, I'm not going to trust it. Why not? I trust the process. Also, I'm going to say X264 has not been working for me. But, um... <laughs> Also, if it has no access to use NVIDIA properly. Well, the thing is, like, there are NVIDIA Linux drivers on this VM. It probably won't. And that I understand. I mean, for me, I'm going to trust the people who are actually doing the developing for it. Like... I feel like Valve is one of those companies I would actually trust to get it right. Um, now I'm not saying that any of the stuff that I'm doing right now, like in this moment, running this VM is going to work with absolute certainty. I want to preface that right now by saying like, I don't know. I do not know if it is going to work, but it sure is hell worth a try. Okay, so apparently 2016 Doom is not a Linux title. That is a bummer. That is a bummer. Yeah, so let let's get that let let's get that out right now. I am not going to say that what I am doing right now like whatever you are going whatever you're experiencing right now, it may not work. Um again for those who are just tuning in, this is me running Linux in a virtual machine. As you can see, this is Windows behind the hood. It's Windows. Look, I'll, I'll, look, there's a Windows settings window right here. It's Windows, Windows 10. I am running this in a VM. You see, any VDT little window here. This is a VM. Not trying to pull any smoke and mirrors. And again, let's see, this is real running Linux. Um, it's for door 28. I am actively controlling this box or this virtual box, if you will. Um, but yeah, I mean, there is something for actually trying to explore what this will look like on bare metal. Um, the thing is, is it would be a, it would be something I would like to try to see if I can get this quality of a stream on Linux using the Linux OBS client. 
it's not like I don't have the hardware to do it. But again, like there's a lot of stuff I have to do behind the scenes to get it to work properly. It's not like it's not something I don't want to do. It really is. But I have not had the preparation. I've not had the practice to try it. I would like to show it off. But I haven't done it yet. So just like you, I haven't run it yet. So I don't know how good it's going to be. I can't say that with all certainty. I'm sure it is. If you had a good enough Mac to run it on, I don't. <laughs> Again, well, maybe I do. I just refuse it to work, run it on my work machine. <laughs> Well, no, no, I didn't say that you haven't, but I, what I'm saying is it's the same argument of, like I said, you know, I don't trust why I don't, I don't know if I could trust it. Like, I don't know. Again, I don't have really good MacBook pro. My MacBook pro is not all that great. But mine isn't. That's what I'm saying. I tried to stream on... I tried to stream... Well, granted, I tried to stream Civ 6 on my MacBook Pro... or Not Civ 6, Civ, Civ 5. I tried to stream Civ 5 on my MacBook Pro using OBS. It did not fare well. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, okay. Uh, now I really got you. I got you now. I got you now. And I, I can, I can totally see that. Um, granted, this thing is really good at capturing footage. Like if I hooked the Elgato up to it and recorded, um, just recorded video straight off the Elgato, it's great. Um, but yeah, streaming, not so much. All right, so everything's updated. What I am going to do is I'm going to do a quick reboot. Oh, looks like Software Manager wants my attention for something. Um, you know what? I'm just going to quit out. I'm going to do a reboot. Reboot. Like we got people out here, out there with dual core i7s. Yeah, recording is super easy. Uh, so as I was saying before, if you, uh, shit, screen's gone away, but, uh, now that I've updated, I have like two versions of the Linux kernel. One was at 4.16, but the current one that is available for Fedora 28 is 4.17. Should have all the latest and greatest packages. So I'm going to log back in. Hopefully that resolution will fix itself. It did. It's all right. So we should be good to go now. I'm gonna grab Terminator. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add it to the panel up there so we can just click it. And I love using Terminator. All right, so for one, I'm going to see how much storage I have left, how much storage I have available to me. All right, so good. They, hmm. ooh, I actually have guest editions. I should check that out. Let me see if I, uh, I'll worry about that later. I don't actually, I probably should have solved them. Um, okay, so good. So apparently, depending on where you get your image, where you get your Fedora Live image, they do things differently when it comes to partitioning of the um, OS in the file systems. So I could have probably ran this at 200, maybe even 100 gigs. But I ran it at 300 and they put, they put, 50 gigs of it in root, but they put the crap ton of it in my home. So now when I go and install steam, um, I should be able to, so let's see, I'm going to do a pseudo yum local install downloads, Google Chrome. So what that's going to do is that's going to install Google Chrome as if it was being installed. Um, from the air, apparently Google Chrome is already installed. Nice. So let's launch Google Chrome. Because we need Steam. We 
still need Steam. Apparently, Google Chrome is taking forever to load. Maybe it is not installed. Oh, there it goes. All right. So I am not going to log into Google Chrome right now. Let's see. We need Steam on Fedora 28. Oh, wait. So let's see here. So third party repositories. So let's see, I'm gonna just search for Steam. Okay, so it's just gonna tell me where to go get it. All right, so let's see, I don't have no software, so. <laughs> All right, so this extra project also manage using a terminal or command line and DNF. Ministry approvals is required to solve passwords. Use the following command with sudo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy, paste that in there. It's already ran sudo. This is gonna install those keys for me. All right, so now I need to, all right, now I need that S. Copy these two, or that repo. I don't think that's a repo. Maybe, I don't know. That's why I need it. All right, so. Pseudo yum install steam. That should work. I think it did. Yes. So we can go up here. It is installing Steam and now it is installing every other package that needs to come with it. So let's get cracking. So the one so again, the one knock against Linux is you cannot install multiple things at once. Granted, in Windows or a Mac, you shouldn't either. And there are some installers that don't allow you to do it because you're doing too many writes to your hard drive and that could corrupt data. So with Fedora, it locks the process and keeps you from using that process to write more data. Um, like it could be a pain in the ass. Like hmm, I should be able to install Chrome and steam at the same time now windows you can but on linux it's not going to allow you to do so um or actually i probably could have but i needed repository i needed um supplemental packages for chrome and i was not going to go individually download each thing that chrome needed when i could use something like yum or dnf to do it for me All right, so um, now you will now. So another thing too, when installing anything on Fedora, anything on any Linux distribution, normally with Linux, you only download what you need to download. You don't need to download any more. That way, it doesn't bloat the system. Um, that being said. <laughs> If you were to go and look, like, so, all right, I went to install Steam. All this other shit came with it. Like, I don't need any of this. You know what? I'm going to remove this rest package. So I'm going to so do a yum remove 
rest. Why do I need rest? I'm gonna be sleep. I'm gonna be staying up all day. I don't need no rest. I'm gonna remove rest. Now, see, that's what rest is a package we like to call a dependency package. I can remove rest all I want. Unfortunately, rest will take out so many other packages, including the one you initially stalled, Steam. <laughs> so that's why that's why I want to say packages that you see that may come accompanying the one thing you want to install like again installing steam and like a hundred other packages came through it's essentially they, they these extra packages the things you didn't ask for are dependency packages these are packages that the the program you are trying to install requires and then they may not be very big packages uh, granted when I tried to uninstall rest, um, and let me turn off the camera so you can see it. Uh, I'll go back into the editor to do that. And move my water bottle again so I can see it. So like by removing rest or trying or attempting to remove rest, I swear I cannot do that. One, two, three, there we go. Um, it removes all these other packages, so many packages that my terminal history couldn't keep up. I need one. I need to fix that, but it removes so many packages. It would have freed up two and a half gigs rest by itself is not that is probably not that big. Yum, yum. Give me some. So be careful like this is one thing you need to be careful of um now granted I, another thing to be careful of is root do not ever do anything in root um like i feel comfortable being in root but yeah like don't don't be in root you can fuck some shit up all right so now steam is installed i am going to run the client it's going to do an update um now it'll be interesting with steam and i'm not sure i've not really played steam play with steam for linux since like 2015 maybe um i was around for the beginning again um i was like one of few people who was playing with steam for linux on a fedora box instead of ubuntu uh back when you know porting it was like mm -hmm, yeah that's right we did it uh excuse me so i'm not sure if the steam client itself like i'm not sure if the Steam client is being updated through the package manager, like Yum or DNF, or if it's being updated through Steam. I actually want to say that it's probably going to be updated through Steam itself uh, because of one thing that we need to do. One, I mean, you can see it's updating now. So there's that. But uh, there's actually one more thing we need to do in order to get access to a lot of the games that they put on that list from earlier this week. See, it's installing an update. It's actually not taking as long as I thought it was going to take. All right, so we'll log into Steam. Um, actually, there's one more thing I need to do. So I'm going to pop this up. Um, one thing that you're probably really, really, really want to do if you're going to work with a VM is actually turn on shared clipboard and drag and drop, specifically the shared clipboard. So that way now I can actually go off screen here. You only work in root, just bold, just bold. I mean, I do too. On my, um, on one of my sites. And if I can actually remember, actually I should probably not put that there. Uh, granted, you wouldn't be able to see the password. Still, I don't want you to know like where my accounts are. And of course, I still can't type in the damn password. There we go. Um, yeah, one of my sites I am actually still running. Um, I, I run it solely in root. I shouldn't, but I do. Excuse me, let me scratch my back. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the spot. That's the spot. 
Uh, but you know, we are. <laughs> Remember that. All right. So what I am going to do, or well, actually, it shouldn't show me. It shouldn't. It might, but it shouldn't show me. Oh wait, duh! I forgot. It doesn't email me the code anymore. I just did this last night, which is really dumb. Um, that I forgot that quickly. I actually have to go and. Get that code from somewhere. I love LastPass. So let's see. I'm going to switch this off. So you don't even see the code that I'm typing in. Not like it'll matter. But again, security is key here. All right. So yeah, I, I'm trying to tell people, look, get on that LastPass, please. Please. Please do LastPass. All right, so yes, yeah, Steam is now available for me to use on Linux. Um, so of course, one thing I one thing I do want to show you is again, as you see, Tekken Seven is not. Oh shit, yeah, never mind. There it is. Or there we go. That's what I meant to show you. I meant to kind of like sort it. Now that's one thing. That's even interesting on its own. So as you can see in SteamOS Linux, Tekken 7 is not here. It's not it's just not here. These are games that have been released on Linux. So like Spec Ops The Line, which actually that's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good AAA game. But Tekken isn't available here. So this is the GA client for Steam. This is what's available to everybody else. You just go and download it. This is it. Um, in order to get access to that whole new fangled thing they're talking about, that's not where you go. And of course this again, further kind of shows that they're probably the ones controlling the updates and not the um, package manager. Um, so which one do is you want to go to, I think it was settings. I think that's where I went steam settings. If we go down to beta participation, you want to switch over to steam beta update, click okay. And it's going to restart steam. So it's going to pull down some more data. So we boogie while it does that. Boogie, 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 we should be getting a new fresh steam coming up soon. All right, so it's connecting to steam and now let's see again, like any other steam up oh, the international is going on. Bought some hollow night. She totally looking at that. I do need to buy hollow night. I've been hearing it's a great game. Um, seven being humans, of course, you know, you got THQ Nordic sales going on this weekend. Um, I actually need to buy a new copy of Overwatch. Yes, I'm going to create a scarab account. I need to see how bad I really am. Um, but now you see, we're still sorted by SteamOS plus Linux. Tekken 7 is now available to install. Now. This is where, again, I guarantee you things are not going to work the way you think it is. All right. I now have enough space is looking for 70,300 megabytes. I now have 227,874. So great. We are good to go. We are agree to the EULA. And we're going to install Tekken. We can now install Tekken. Tekken, yeah. Look, again, I had to re... I could have reformatted the hard drive. I was like, nope, we're going to do a whole thing where we install Linux on a virtual machine. What's going on, Sylvester Stone? How you doing? How you living? How you feeling? Um, Wow, is it really... Oh, okay, you know what? Probably because it's on a VM. It's going to take forever to do this. Um, Which means this test may not happen today. Oh, 
sweet. That's right. I forgot you said you were working on TI8. How's it going? Who's winning? Um, good man. Glad to catch one of your streams. I'm glad too. This is the one I'm really excited for because, you know, I'm not good at video games. I like to play them and try to be entertaining, but I am really good with some Linux. So, um, I'm kind of glad to be able to sit and talk about some Linux. Um, yeah. So apparently I'm only getting nine megs down through Steam. I'm not sure. I wonder if it may be the graphics card. I mean, not the graphics card, but the, um, the Nick that's in set up on this thing where it's not supposed to go very fast. Like, I wish I could set up. Wait. Yeah, I wish I could set up how fast this thing goes. It should switch to another server. I don't know where this thing is downloading from. Let's see. Downloads. It's downloading from Charlotte. Wait, throttle downloads while streaming. Like, I got a big fat bite. Don't, do not hold me back. Use DC. But I'm close to Charlotte. I'm actually closer to Charlotte than I am to DC. All right, so Washington, DC. Okay, restart. <laughs> all right so let's see here oh shit yeah damn I, wait no that's not the speed that is definitely not the speed in which this is downloading <laughs> oh great so we've increased it by a factor oh no it's going back no i extreme to va Yeah, the uh, VA stream, the, the VA ingest is closer to me than Atlanta's. Yeah. <laughs> I know about the shortest path. <laughs> I don't need my shit to go hoppity hop. Why would I stream to Atlanta? That, I mean, if, if it's advantageous to stream to Atlanta, sure. But I don't think it is. Just pure distance wise. All right, so it doesn't. Is it? Is it though? I mean, we we could pull up Google Maps. Geography is hard or just networking is really hard. It's not about distance. Uh, man, I should have, before I switched gears, went to get some water. So, I'm trying to see if there's anything smaller. I'm pretty sure Super Hot is really small. Yeah, that's super small. Let's, let's, do, let's do Super Hot instead. You will understand. Let me switch that over. I'm going to switch over to Super Hot. I really wanted to get Tekken 7 downloaded, but it seems like it's going to take forever to do that. Download it now! All 
like mainly the reason why I really want to do super hot right now is I'm more concerned about the controller. <laughs> Make sure I can get keyboard and mouse to go through, but would a controller input go through? Why'd I stop Tekken 7? Because I want to test the controller right now. It's going to take forever to do Tekken 7. It's not going to... I'm not... I'm probably not going to finish... Because like, if I were to sit here and wait for Tekken 7, it'd just be sitting here... We'd be sitting here talking all day. Like, I actually want to have some kind of tangible results before the, the stream ends. That, that, that's why. I would at least say I did something other than I installed Fedora and then Steam and then we just stared at a download. Something needs to happen quick. That's what I'm working on. God. Gosh, people are so impatient. Like me, I'm very impatient. I mean, so at least... I know, I know. I know. No, but really... Uh, exactly, but really though, no. uh, <laughs> about to get banned from what? <laughs> All right, so I think Super Hot's about to be done. So I'm gonna plug in this controller and see what happens here. All right, so it's plugged in. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna play Super Hot. At least I know Super Hot does work. With a mouse and keyboard. So we can switch over to that just fine. I don't know how Tekken works with a mouse and keyboard. I didn't. It switched over before I could notice. Alright. I don't know. Super hot may not be working. It shouldn't take this long to load. Oh, looks like something's going on. I don't know. It looks like I heard, saw like a small blink right here. Oh, there is something. We got something. It's a dot. We have a dot. Wicka, wicka, wicka. No, that doesn't work. Um. Uh-oh. I don't know. We may not have super hot. Like, I don't... No, if super hot was on the hey, this works on Linux out of the gate or what, but it is not working here. Wait, what was what was just you? Hello, hold on. Boogie boogie time. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for the clip. I will definitely use that in the future. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see one more time. Okay, nope, that's still not working. So, crap dash I uh, super kill dash nine one four three eight zero. All right, no more super hot. Super hot is no longer running. All right, so let's. Let's let Tekken 7 finish. 
Oh, shit. Yo, those times actually do look a little bit better. Yeah, those speeds definitely do look a little bit better. Maybe. It's going down again. It's going down for real. Max Headroom. I'm sorry. I don't. I get the reference, but I cannot do the imitation of that. When did LastPass started notifying you when you logged out of LastPass? I feel like it's 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 taking me out of my element. I don't know what to do here. It's out of my normal flow. Yo, this looks familiar. I've seen this before. Yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah, I've seen this thing before. I should probably go back to using it. What do you think? All right, Bafu Techie, thank you for stopping through. Oh, no, it's now our... Do I trust password storage? Yes, I do. I trust password storage. How about you? Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I mean, that's like trying to run a speed test when you're downloading shit. Like, why? <sighs> All right. You know what we should do or what I should do? Uh, one. Damn. <laughs> One thing I should probably do, though, while I'm waiting is actually, you know, take a little break, stretch my legs, and, you know, we can reconvene. I mean, I'm not going to stop the stream. I'm going to actually just, like, it's going to be, like, maybe 10 minutes. Um, Use your restroom. Probably get some water. I'm going to fill this up. Uh, so, yeah, how about that? Because, like, we'd be sitting here just staring at this forever. Uh... I keep a leather pocket notebook with all my life in it. My password is 14 plus random number letter. You trying to talk to my bot? <laughs> you ain't gonna talk to that. But yeah, like, yeah, I've got two stream. I got two Twitch accounts. Um, damn. Yo, you part of you run them too. All right, I see you, dog. In what Excel? Actually, I think. Do I have any friends who are fans who are fans of um, In what Excel? That that's the Overwatch League team, right? But yeah, um, I don't know, like keeping, I feel like keeping things in a, in a, in a notebook would not be advantageous. Cause like, that's a single point of failure. If I lost the notebook, then I've lost my accounts. And plus, it's easier to hack a notebook than it would be to hack a password account that should be salted, should be hashed and salted. The storage itself is encrypted. Um, I have two-factor authentication. I mean, technically, what would make us more secure if we didn't have secrets? Let me tell you a secret. No. Nah. <laughs> Wish I had a secret. I don't know what to tell you. I have backups to access the accounts in the save. So, like, all my two-factor backup codes, crypto C keys. I will lose my password stuff. See, that's the thing. Like, for me, it's the same thing. Like, okay, if even if you took the passwords, 
all of my critical infrastructure shit is behind two factor auth. So you would have to, I mean, just like for you, I mean, granted it's a safe at this point, but they, like, that's just your backup codes. That's in your safe. Like they'd still need your notebook and your phone, both of which will probably be kept within close proximity. I imagine for me, all I, like they could steal my phone. They would have the two factor off maybe. And they would have last pass, but they would still need to log into it. They would still need the password. And I said the password, not the pass code to get into my phone. If they didn't have my face. Um, so, I mean, there's multiple ways or even then too, like in order to get in the last pass, you would need my pet, my phone's password or my face to get into last pass on my phone. So it was like, either you could steal my passwords and then not have my, yo. And so does mine. Mine does as well. Um, Again, one, two, three, four, five. And now my phone's locked. I can't even face, I can't even face unlock this now. <laughs> no, it's just my for techie. <laughs> but that's what's up though. That's actually pretty cool. But it was a high five. But see, I mean, and I get that, but I also would like in that case, if we're going to be really paranoid, I would not trust putting it on paper either. Like my whole thing is like, if someone were to come try to rob me from my passwords, they'd have to go through it electronically. It's not physically located anywhere in this house. It's not physically located on me. So what do they have at that point? It's the reason why I don't like to carry cash. Like you can rob me, you could take my cards, but essentially I can go cancel that shit and then get that money back because it wasn't physical. It wasn't a physical liquid asset that I lost. I'm insured on that. I mean, but like, and that's the thing, like, it's like to each their own, um, like whatever works for you is whatever works for you. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, I feel like we spend a lot of time to try to convince somebody else of like their things. Like, it's, like, what's the point? I mean, it's not like we're both wrong here. Like they're like both paper and digital password saves have their advantages and their disadvantages. Right, but that's what I'm saying. But that's the same thing with me and... <laughs> if you don't get on to the airport, uh, Babu Teki. <laughs> but yes, they, yeah, thank you for stopping through, though, man. That was pretty dope. Yeah, and I get that. Um, like, the, the overall thing, though, the overall thing like that people need to learn is, like, having a safe place for their passwords, whether it's online or offline. And on top of that, using two-factor authentication. Like, the most important bit is using two-factor authentication. Uh-oh. No, I am not using X264. I'm using MVNT. Unless I need... So, when I switched over to X264, at least we're trying to record video, it was choppy is shit yeah I'm using MVNT <laughs> no cap <I'm> out <laughs> yeah using QSV may not have been the best thing for me but I don't know, X264, when I was trying to record some, um, off, I was trying to record a YouTube video yesterday, like, the video was just choppy. It was so choppy. Okay. Okay. 
All right. On Netflix. Yeah. Um. All right. Now we're an hour in. I don't know. We may like again. Like we may or may not get tech in seven. But I mean, yo, if we want to have conversations, we got conversations. Again, I may need to step away for a second, use the restroom to get some water. But yeah, we can totally continue having these thoughts. Um, from what I heard, not sure on it though. For NVNC, that's for recording high bandwidth for say you. And that may be what that is. Like I could not do X two sixty four at fifty thousand kilobits per second. Um, like I, de- I think I deleted the videos. But. And like, so I can upload, if I still have them, I can upload them and then kind of show like, yo, this is what doing X264 on 50,000 kilobits per second look like. Um, Every 1080 by stream X264 in, uh, in VNC was a lower resolution. Yeah, like I'm doing everything on NVENC, uh, 6,000 to Twitch and then 20,000 to um, local media. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I said, like, you can look at any of my old con, like, look at any of the stream content. Oh, okay. That's good. That, that's what I want. That's what I want. It's like, look, does this smile look good? I don't know. I'm looking it out. It looks really amazing. I don't know. Um, But yeah, I'm doing 1080p 60 at 6,000 kilobits per second going to Twitch. And then, again, it's 20,000 going to local media. So I can keep file sizes down. Um, but yeah, like X264 trying to record at 50,000. Like it just was just choppy as shit. I'm not sure if it was OBS. I don't know. There's still some things I need to kind of sit down and do. And again, I'm hoping to really kind of sit down and try to figure this shit out with XSplit over the weekend. I'm trying to worry you my bitch. Just couldn't get X- if you see the stream HD. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Um, like what bit rate were you using? I don't know. I keep talking about my big fat pipes. Um, I'm just sending shit. I'm just sending just all sorts of data just through. This is why I'm kind of upset that apparently, um, I'm only getting 10 megabits per second down. But I thought, yeah, that shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that pixelated. I don't think so. I mean, if Bifuteki is still here or was still here. Oh, okay. That may be what that is then. Yeah, even before I installed fiber, um, like I was still getting like 25, maybe 30 up. So like, doing 6,000 was not an issue for me, but now I'm like, fuck it. So everything, I can probably upload a YouTube video right now, like super hella fast and it would be okay. I get 20 up, but that shit tanks all the time. Ooh. Yeah, I'm on that fiber. Just pump the fiber into my things. Mm. Just give it to me. But all right, so look, we've got like 55 minutes left to go. I'm going, yeah, again, I keep saying I'm going to do it. And I never do. I'm going to step away for a little bit. I'm gonna, The stream's going to be up. Like I'm going to be gone for like probably no more than 10 minutes. So I can try to use the restroom and get some more of the drink. Because again, although there's ice in here, I am completely tapped out. And I keep drinking this water and make me want to go to the bathroom more. Um, I'm parched talking so much i'm parched thirsty need to let me whistle i filed three fc reports it's still bro but my bill is still extra low for life well, i mean that's good i mean it's, well it's good and bad like i would rather have the high internet and you know deal with the bigger bill but we've had conversations about that before my spending habits um but yeah so i'll be back in just a little bit please stay tuned enjoy the tunes. I still wish I could be listening to NBA Live 19 soundtrack. <laughs> Won't don't we all? Don't we all? But yeah, I'll be back and two shakes of two shakes of a lamb's tail. This is your boy Mark Summers, Major Lennox, Major This is episode number two hundred and three of the Major Sauce Show. We're installing Tekken Seven on a 
Fedora Linux 28 VM. Please stay tuned. I'll be right back. Oh, good. You did leave here with the bots. That was the main thing I was going to be concerned about. Like, Y'all just left me here with all these damn bots. What the hell is a boy to do? But welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Mark Summers, Major Linux, Majorshouse.com, and I have water for episode number 203 of the Major's House Show. All right. So instead of taking my water bottle down, I bought some water bottles up. I made progress with Beats by Kev. Did I not type that in right? I don't think I did. That was not on flow. Mm. Yeah, shout out to Bifo Techie. Coming here dropping that fire knowledge. Things we all need to know if we want to be better streamers, content creators. I'm getting recommended Fedora compared to Mint and Ubuntu. What's Fedora offer? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, like I cut my teeth on Ubuntu and switched to Fedora because the computer science department was using it. Um, so I switched over, learned how to use it, and just stuck with it. Um, one day I would like to try to build Gen 2 or uh, compile Gen 2. Excuse me. Yeah, after I left Ubuntu, it's it's been I've had a time trying to go back, and of course. recent follower thing is just weird as you can see on the bottom I've had like I don't know who hold on where is it I don't know who this is I don't know who that is I imagine it's a follower of mine but for some reason it's not the latest one because you can look up here I've had two follows sway since then, but Dreams Forgotten's name is not down there. And I don't know what's causing that disconnect. Maybe if I turn it off and turn it back on. No. Arch Linux is fun if you don't need your system up and running for a while. <laughs> Hatred Red Dragon, thank you for that sub. That Twitch Prime sub, thank you so much. Just holding it in its, in, in its warm embrace. Yes. Uh, you're getting your follow display from a text file. Streamlabs has a database of text files for that. For all that. It's supposed to be built into 
Streamlabs OBS, but it's been broken. I don't understand what's going on with it. So yeah, that's really weird. Like it didn't change down here. It's a, it would have supposed supposed to change down here. But you see like Ancient Red Dragon, like that updated. Like he just recently subbed and it updated on here. This is the only thing that doesn't seem to be updating. And it's a bummer. Yeah, so OBS has too many falls currently. My biggest issue with it's have, yes, oh my god. Yeah, you missed that whole rant at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> Trying to play a game on Xbox and I had to Now granted, I love looking at myself. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um however I couldn't see any button props because my video was covering it. So I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just like, A, 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 A. Why isn't A working? Uh, oh, oh, because A isn't an option here. Damn. Did I just sign up? Well, fuck it. They can have my son. Yes, yeah, so I don't know why that's broken. I'm going to see if I can add a new one. Um, let's see a stream label. Supports new followers. So I want recent follower wait is it just that is streamlabs itself broken because even that new thing i tried to plug in was still giving me the wrong name off to the side here. I'm going to log into Streamlabs and see what's going on. Checking your browser before accessing Streamlabs.com. What? You think I really want to like hack into Streamlabs? But it's been like that for a while. That's the thing I don't get. Wait a second, hold on, let me. Let me see, what if I launch that? Wait, I don't think I did see a follow animation now that I think of it. You got the sub one. No, there was a follow one. There was a follow one. I do remember seeing that. Or at least I saw one for Ravier or um, Ravier. voice group wasn't fully engaged in the stream yet. Ah, it's all good.
Yes, this is what showed up on my on the browser when I'm trying to log in Streamlabs. <sighs> I swear Streamlabs were such hot garbage and I can't wait to get rid of you for good. So I just relaunched stream labels. And it's like, so I don't know what's up with that one down at the bottom. I don't know what's wrong with the follower, but it's not working. what you might do and I'm going to tune in now when I can. Got a road trip in the AM so I'm going to get some sleep. Alright man, thank you for stopping through. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, um, I think I might have to call it. It seems like Tekken's going to take a while before we can actually get some stuff here and I actually would like to try to get some other stuff taken care of. Yeah, that's really weird. Oh, wait. That's because it's broken. Add a new source. Let's move that over here. So I'm breaking my neck. See, there it goes. See, it's working. All right, Dream, you have a good night. Sweet dreams. Don't forget them. Okay. 
Alright, well, at least that's done. At least it's fixed. So, well, that's fixed. So, is anybody left? Anybody else around who's up with me? If not, I could just end this because, yeah, it's just me going to be staring at Tekken 7 for the next 40 minutes. I mean, there's 50 million other things that any of us literally could be doing now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let this go for another five minutes. Anybody wants to stop doing I'll be here just... <sighs> Relaxing, sip, sitting here, sitting, sipping my water. Maybe I'll just record something offline a little bit later once this finishes. I mean, I would say the main thing I wanted to do was install Fedora on stream. That wasn't it. I actually wanted to play Tekken 7 in Linux, even though it was in a VM. But, eh. You know, I got all weekend to do that. I can see like who was in PTR versus regular. Who's playing the new maps? being able to use Linux again. I'm gonna wrap this up. I yeah, guess starting to get people slowly dipping out. But yes, thank you everybody for tuning in to the Mitchell Show episode number 203. It was very informative, light on video games today because. Again, like I said before, this is something I wanted to do. It was gaming related. And if I did not do it now, it would have delayed everything else. Now that it's been done or it's currently in its moving state, 
I can move on with that. I can let this go. Like, all right, I've done something. I can record something later once all the dust is settled. Um, but yeah, I, I show what I wanted to show. And again, we'll probably show more once all this is done. Like, was not in, anticipating on a very a slower than normal in, um, um, download speed. Um, I might take a look and to see if there's a way I can get the internet speed a little bit faster on the virtual machine. Um, so yeah, like in order for me to even test that and do any kind of comparison, I would probably need to stop my up and downloads period. So I can make sure I get untainted results. But, um, yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. I will see you guys on monday but before we go we've got to do we've got a little housekeeping to do like thanking these hosts so shouts out to split log of virgo for you defunct 64 ancient red dragon who also came through with that sub r miller 2029 smack master game and trackpad girl the hobbit lord Toda bread station dude spec sam too Sacred Flame Game Enthused, Glenn Ann, Dr. Hannah Space Move, Lance Mann, and Jacory J. Dukes, one third of the Not Your Friends podcast. Web 67, G Nitro, K is better because you know she is. Black Kevin, Malcar, Spectre Sam 064, Sober Dog 007, Iconic Mod, Red Ryan, Tiny Form 5, and Arrow Dash 84. Thank you so much for those hosts. Really do appreciate it. Um, uh, but of course, you guys could have been anywhere in the world. You could have watching the stream in the world. You could have been watching, could have been playing the game yourself. You could have been installing Linux yourself. You could have been playing Tekken Seven the right way. But you chose to be here. You chose to be here with your boy Marcus Summers, Major Linux, MajorSouse.com, for episode number two hundred three of the Major South Show. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate that. And of course, all I've got left to say to you and the people is, I love you. And peace. Ow. Glitch it. Well, I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. If you did enjoy that video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell button so you can get notified when I put up new videos. I'm trying to do the YouTube thing just a little bit more than I used to before, so definitely do that. It's great help. Um, again, for every subscription I get over at YouTube, I donate $1 to Extra Life, a gaming-based charitable organization that's a part of the Children's Miracle Network. Where we, um, help sick and injured kids um, in our local communities um, get a fair shake at life. So definitely um, subscribing is actually doing good for the community. How does that sound? Um, of course, while you're here, if you're looking for something else to watch, I do recommend that you check this stuff out. Check, just check these two videos out here. Uh, one is the most recent video. One is actually um, a video that I've created that um, probably best suits your taste. I don't know. I'm not the, I'm not the taste maker. I'm just a creator. You have to get the you get to get with YouTube about the whole taste thing. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what you're into. It's that that's on you and YouTube. Um, but I do recommend that you hit um, click one of these or you know do the um, subscribe, hit the like. You know do the things that the YouTubers do. No pressure on my part. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. But um, if you do, I'd really appreciate it. So until next time, peace out.